A group of hardy people with axes, most likely lumberjacks, and are menacing a fragile Nixie. Two lumberjacks stand before her, relaxed and dis disconnected. The lead lumberjack shakes his fist at the Nixie and yells, Let them go, you swamp freak! If you don't, I'll burn this rotten grove to the ground on my word. You're the freaks, and my name is Millions! I can't do voices. Thank you very much. If you keep being rude like that, this I'll just drown these jumbos in the lake, understand? Noticing you, the lead lumberjack grins and waves. You there, you seem a capable sort. Inter interested in some coin? Name's Korax, and we're loggers here in this forest. We could use your help in freeing our people from this Gorgon's claws. We should help her! No, them! Uh, I don't know. Why can't people in Fae live in peace? Let's just slaughter them all and be done with it. What's going on here? We were minding our own business, cutting trees and splitting logs, when this hag shows up out of nowhere, screeches at us, then jinxes two of ours and threatens to drown them. With these fey breeding like rabbits everywhere, what's an honest, hard-working man to do? Stupid Jumbo, you're the ones who breed like rabbits, spreading into more and more space. We've lived here since forever. I've grown up in the- I've grown these trees for more than a hundred years. Know them down to the tiniest leaf, and then you show up with your stupid axes to ruin everything. Let them go, Melians. These people have families. You wish! Soon as I let them go, the whole lot of them will attack. If these goons want to go home if these goons want to go home to their stupid families, they're going to have to promise to steer clear of my grove first. Listen to me, people. The loggers exchange glances holding their hand on their axes. Uh... The forest is big, I'm sure you can find other trees to fell. Oh shit. Sure, there might be other spots with trees as fine as these, but how could we find them? And what if there is another fey there too? Quarreling with fey is more trouble than it's worth. You have, you've no idea how powerful and thin-skinned they can be. Fucking what? So what then? Do we just hang ourselves and be done with it? There's all manner of beasts in the forest. We can't roll over for all of them. Instead of giving up, we should just keep on fighting till we wipe out every last one. Yeah, that makes me want to kill you. You do not understand what calamities you are calling upon yourself. The forest is deep and wild and full of terrible secrets. When the full power of the Fey wizardry falls upon you, you will remember this day. And ask yourself if some logs were worth suffering the never-ending misery. And you will answer, no, of course not. But, th but it will be too late. The, yum the lumberjack looks at the Nixie with suspicion. Melians makes a scary face as she stretches her webs webbed hands out towards Korax, wiggling her fingers. Ooh. All right, all right. It's not like we're dead set on this grove in the first place. If she gives us back our people, we'll leave the place in peace. On my word! Melians, they'll leave this place and never return. Please, release the hostages now. Oh, sure, and who's going to bring back my trees then? They come in here, smash everything in sight, and then just leave? No deal. Fix what you broke, then maybe I'll let them go. How are we supposed to restore a tree that's already been cut down? You humans are always like this. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Then when it's time to clean up your mess, poof! Gone. Fine. Then since you're so clearly clueless, I'll tell you what to do. The- there are these magic thingies that look like little feathers. The- the feather tokens. Throw one on the ground, anywhere, and a tree springs up. Your people's mages who tread the swamps more often than the others, they can make them. Buying a couple won't break your bank. My cousin Teresia can also make them. She lives in the Gnarl Marches. Either way, you bring a handful of them back here and I'll let your goons go. You hear that, Korax? Just buy some feather tokens from a magic shop and she'll let your people go. Fucking, you think we just have piles of gold? God damn it. Fine. Wait here, I'll bring the goddamn feathers. They'll be waiting right here. It's not like they have anything else to do, right? The Nixie chuckles as she tussles one of the lumberjack's hair. He smiles up at her faithfully. Fuck all of you. You're all unreasonable. Oh my god! Uh, I- well, this happened. Uh, I hope I don't die here.
Ah, good. What? Of course Tristan died immediately. Okay. Ooh, a cache of everything. I'm gonna go ahead and check up here as well. Let's see what's up here. Okay then, well. Oh, this took me- oh, a ford across the Skunk River. Sure, I will look at this place. March on. Ooh, some forests to explore. Oh, a wolf! A bunch of wolves. You do have to. Good. Wow, that was... Holy shit. Oh, that wolf isn't dead. Didn't even realize that. Took some unnecessary damage right there. No stopping now. I'm listening. Shrooms. What? Okay, there we go. Okay, well, it's been an hour and 20 minutes, 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment with feedback, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Engine here, signing off.